Wait, why'd you take the bumper off? Because I'm pulling this whole front end off. So we got the front end off on the old VR and we have some updates that we're doing to it. Here are the parts that we're going to be messing with in this video that we're going to be putting on this car. We got the EMU Black with the R32 connector which is the same as this engine. The whole harness and everything is the same as the 2.8 BDF engines. So that's going to work for this ECU but with that ECU we need to put on a intake air temp sensor which I just welded to this uh, pipe the other day 3 HMPT and we also need a port that goes into the intake manifold for the map sensor on this ECU so I need to weld this in this 8th MPT into the intake we got a 90 that's gonna obviously connect and uh, we have the 3 port solenoid for the boost control that's also gonna be controlled by that EME block and the MoCal thermoplate that we're gonna hook up to the Schimmel performance oil filter plate that we got on the front of this engine oh actually it's gonna go right there in between that filter and that housing which you put this on because it has an inlet and outlet for this Mishimoto 19 row oil cooler that we're gonna also be putting on the front of this thing I don't know where but it's going on there. Got some trans fluid and it's cold outside. We got the wood burner going. Got some new stainless steel pipe. So let's freaking get after it. That's it? Yeah. Both. <laughs> My brother's worried and I'm kind of worried too. He's going to try to light it before we start welding. Just so. I think it's all right. Got the bung all welded on. It was a super hard spot to get to because this is like on the bottom of it and I kept wanting to fall so I got it on there and I don't think there's any leaks there's no pinholes all the way around it right now Stick is putting some pipe tape on the fitting that we're gonna screw in there and now we got a spot for the uh, map sensor on the ECU getting stuff done we got the ECU out got the uh, connector connected in to the wiring harness the stock wiring harness got most of the uh, vents hooked up for the boost solenoid and as you can see here, there's a, like a little thing that comes with it and it tells you where exactly the uh, lines are supposed to go. So we just kind of followed them and have them hooked up. Got the top running in. He's still waiting on a T. You can see right there. And the ECU was hooked up um, just now, figuring out the wiring for the intake air temp. This is uh, supposed to be like right before the throttle body. So you don't want it in the intake manifold because this will heat soak really bad from the engine and it'll cause this temperature sensor to become super hot like if this sensor was over here i literally wouldn't even be able to touch it so you got to kind of come off like away from that so we went with right here and uh, you can see i have two wires going to it so this sensor does not care which one goes to the ecu and which one goes to ground so i got these two wires and this is running here and i'm going to run this yellow one into the mass airflow sensor the stock one and i'll run this brown one up here to the stock ground post um, so i pretty much want to show you guys that we are using the intake air temp over the stock mass airflow um, sensor we don't need the stock mass airflow sensor because we are running a map sensor which is right here earlier you seen in the video um, so this wire is the one i need and i found that out by looking at the diagram that they give you with the emu black and you can see right here air intake in so we went over to the harness this is for the emu black this is for this connector so we got this hooked up to the car and we went over to that pin number 32 which is the air in the air intake temperature in so we can come over here turn on our meter and that one's in there so we get our other terminal so right there you can hear the uh, meter going and it's that last connector. So I got that marked right there with that black tape. So that is the air intake in, which you just saw on here, which you just saw on there. So we know for a fact that that is the temp wire that is gonna go to this sensor. So we pretty much need to hack this off. Then we need to uh, 
hook up the boost control solenoid, which I haven't found that yet on here, but um, I'm sure we'll have to wire that in because this car does not have a boost solenoid stock. So we'll probably have to add in wires for that. You can see that I got the wires into that connector and I got a little bit of shrink wrap just for a strain relief kind of deal. And I got this sheath, this like sleeving stuff, just to kind of make it look like legit. And I'm gonna hook that up there. So we got the EMU black connector in there, which is where the stock harness goes. And then the EMU black is next to it. And I'm gonna make a little platform that runs off the bottom of this stock one. And it'll just kind of hold this up and keep it from just rattling around. And there is a hole in this thing right there. Just a little six mil clearance hole that we're gonna put a bolt through just to kind of fasten this thing down. And after this is fastened down, then we can start running these wires for the boost solenoid and whatever else we need to run. There's also, you can see a little fuse thing right there, the red wire. That needs to be a 12 volt that goes to the EMU black and whatever else we need to run there. So I'm gonna make that out of a piece of aluminum, which got my mark cut or wrote here. I'm gonna cut it out on the little shear that we got going. This is what I got so far. I got that connector in this side as you can see and then you can see the uh, aluminum piece coming over here holding the EMU black up off of the uh, little firewall kind of thing this is what I got for the actual little platform for the EMU black because you have the R32 connector right there just a piece of aluminum and I got some flathead screws one there this one's kind of up under that piece of little felt right there and obviously on the back side I got the nuts with the washers and on here I also have a flathead screw, just little four mil screws and uh, little feet that we're going to use this uh, double sided tape on. Hopefully that works out. We're going to clean the area super good under this and on the car just so it adheres like it has the best chance. So this little connector is going to go here and then that hole is clearly going to line up with that. So it's going to be something like this for the EMU black. There's that it right all, up there. Yeah, that all is gonna fit up under there. So I'm gonna put this thing in there and clean off these feet good. Put that tape on it. What were you saying? Hey! I need a rag! <laughs> you need a rag? Hold on, hold on, I got you, I got you. How big? This? Oh, uh, just enough to... Inside this little uh, tray there is that little tab sticking up. So I'm gonna hit that over back into that little spot that it came out of because the wires are right there. The wires in between this connector and the ECU, it's like chilling right here. And I don't want that to wear on this loom, on that bundle of wires. So I'm just gonna knock that over. Here's the uh, little plate I made. And you can see the little feet down there. And we did use that double-sided tape and it's sticking to the stock metal on the body. And this is the, uh, <laughs> this is not good. All right, so we're gonna put that and here and uh then we'll show you guys what it looks like after it's all assembled boost no no boost, boost, boost. he's getting all hyped up because his uh car is finally gonna have like safety features and anti-lag and anti-lag boost he's gonna uh, get legit real quick we got the tea today from uh There's amazon and yeah he's got some grease on it still has to cut this and put it in line but he's over here just hanging out Hey, we got the fire going because you know it's winter up here. Doing a time lapse? No, nah, it's going. It's live. Oh, shoot. My brother has all these freaking wires just going into these fuses. There's these little terminals you can get that uh, connects them. And I'm going to clean all this crap up before we get this thing tuned and hook up a relay and hook up a little, uh, like, a, like a fuse block kind of thing that has a bunch of terminals on it that is switched power because all of his gauges and whatnot need switch power along with the boost solenoid and the ECU. So we are hooking up the three port uh, Mac valve, the solenoid for the boost control to the EMU black. Um, one thing that I saw on this little chart that they give you with all of the wiring on the auxiliary, um, there's six of them. Every single one of them are taken. There's something going to them. And I noticed the secondary crankcase breather we are not using on this setup because it's just, we pretty much deleted it. So that's auxiliary four, which is a G20, which is gray 20. There's a gray and a black little connector right here. So we went to the 20th pin on that connector, which is this right here. And it's going through the uh, connector into the stock wiring harness. 
and we have the connector right here so you can put the uh, you can hear that beep and that is my meter pretty much verifying that this connector which has been hanging here for months probably years because it's been uh, deleted it pretty much verifies that this wire is the one that is hooked up to this auxiliary 4 which clearly we uh, just went over that we are not using so this is the one that is going to go to the solenoid for the uh, Mac valve so if you guys are wiring this up that's one you could use there's also the intake variable volume solenoid which goes to the stock uh, intake manifold which clearly we have the aluminum intake the short runner intake manifold so that is another option that you could use for auxiliaries on this setup <laughs> This morning, I was messing with uh, this wiring over here. Oh, don't, don't so, me on my wiring. nah, I'm, I'm roasting you. Got this relay mounted. I made a little aluminum. It's just like a C, basically, and a bolt in the back that I got going into that steel. And we're waiting on a terminal block to put next to that. And then we can put all this stuff to that terminal block, and everything will be like super nice and neat and not ready to catch on fire. So. <laughs> Dude, we're freaking making moves. Are we gonna upload that startup tune? Boost. We might upload the startup tune tonight and see if this thing freaking goes. So this is the USB that goes to the AC right there. A black line, which it runs. You can tell that uh, there's like a little door that's cut out. Well, there's a grommet right there and it goes through that grommet. We got it coming out of where the airbag is. We had to take the uh, glove box off to route it but you can see it comes all the way out here so you can easily tune it if you're on the driver's seat, passenger seat, or wherever. You gotta get this thing started today because uh, tuning is tomorrow and I'm trying to leave next week. Um, I'm gonna go down south and I'm gonna do my 50 state whole journey thing in my Volkswagen Vandigan and you can follow some of that here. And you can also follow that on some of my other channel called Dusty Bus, D-U-S-T-I-B-U-S. And yeah, dude, I'm trying to get out of the cold. We're from Ohio. So today we got this terminal. Uh, it has the, the stud in the center and has all of the little ones around so you can like connect, connect to the power source. Um, this is gonna go in this little corner right here where this relay I got. So I cut that ear off and blended that all in. This looks freaking great. It's gonna be mounted exactly like that. You can see that little shiny mark right there. That is a little uh, center punch mark that I'm gonna draw a hole and then I'm gonna put a nut on the back of this thing. This thing came out freaking sweet. I got a five mil bolt in there. Got a nut on the back side. It's super stout. It's not going anywhere. That acorn nut looks good. I think it'll make it behind the cover that covers all this stuff up. Got the uh, little Subaru relay right there. Pull this thing off real quick. Boom, that's what I got. So the relay, obviously you can see the ground right there. And this is the, uh, the little power bus bar kind of thing. And when you turn the ignition on, all the gauges come on. This thing is powered on right now because obviously the ignition switch is on. It powers off when you turn that off. And now all this is clean where the fuses are. There's no drama, no wires to come disconnected, and it fits behind the cover. So we're done with this. Just replaced the uh, wastegate spring with a lighter one. I think it's a 13 pound spring, but with the boost uh, solenoid, we can push more, but that'll be the minimum we can push on this thing. Tune is tomorrow at 10, and uh, dude, we're freaking, we gotta get this thing ready. Everything is good, it's uploaded, and they have a first star checklist on their website that you can like go through everything and make sure it's good. But we're just, dude, we're nervous out here. So we're gonna start this thing up here in a second, right? I don't know. Yep.